I thought I'd do a little footage here um, to show you what is happening at our house right now. So our house, here's a big picture of the side of it. It's 110 years old, built in 1910. And this is part of the original foundation. There goes the stray cat that we feed. We call her Miss Kitty. Um, this is part of the foundation that has settled. So this is our, uh, it's really not a basement. I'm gonna try to walk down in here. It's really not a basement. It's more of a cellar. And it was an original rock foundation. Here's pieces of the rock foundation. Um, to give you an idea how deep this is. <laughs> okay, so they've had to turn off the water. Um, they're replacing a water main that goes through here, the gas, so we don't have any water or heat right now. There's still electricity in the house, but here's part of the original stone foundation. Check that out, that's mortar and stone sitting on dirt <laughs> that holds our house up. So. Um, it's this original cedar siding that has been painted over the years. We painted it a happy yellow um, when we bought the house. It was a really sad tan brown color. Um, let's see if I can get down in here if the lighting will adjust. That's our furnace. Um, that's our hot water heater. So that's a stone foundation. Can you guys see the slab down there? That's stone that's part of the original bottom of the house. And then here's an original wall that was really part of the original house right here. Hang on, I'm gonna get in here so you guys can see this a little bit better. So this is part of the original outside of the house. Over here, if you guys can see that, that's an opening to go underneath the house. Under that, this part over, to, over here, this is where our living room's at. So that opening right there, you can crawl under the living room of the house. To give you an idea of what the wall looks like, there you go. There's the foundation that they just dug up. Um, I'll give you a perspective here. I'm gonna stand under here. So I'm 5'3". This is how deep the hole is. Here's the top of the house. <laughs> so the hole is currently over five feet deep, okay? So this is part of the original, this is, okay, we're gonna look under here, this is kinda cool. There goes the kitty cat. The cats in the neighborhood are having a ball under my house, but that's part of the original foundation. So if you've ever wondered what it looks like under a 100 year old house. Now what kind of started some of the sloping problems, these are all our air conditioning and heating vents. We have central heat and central hair. Um, see these old beams right here? No light, can you see these old beams? Okay. So there's a beam right here. Do you see this? This is a heating duct work. And see how they had to go down with it? They cut, there was a beam right here that went all the way out to the house. And that's, this is the walkway from our living room to our kitchen, our hallway. And they cut that to put in the heating duct work. <laughs> so that started a little bit of the problem of sagging. So they're going to replace this beam right here with a steel beam that's going to come all, all the way out to the edge of the house because this part of the house right here has not had a beam under it holding it up anymore. They kind of put some silly boards under there. <laughs> Look at this rotted board right here. Like they were like, okay, that'll help hold it up. See how rotten this is? The quaint parts of an old house. Okay, here's our original water pipe. That's an original, this is the new. We've replaced these water pipes, but that's an original water pipe. Um, so yeah, the quaintness of old houses, look at that, they just kind of shoved stuff under there. So, and then this one's broken right here. Okay, so the other thing that happened, I'll show you, our, show you the stray kitty. The, ki the cats are loving it under here, I hope we don't. There she is. We call her Miss Kitty. So right now, what's holding our this side of the house up is this lovely thing. Check this out. It's a jack strapped to a beam holding our house up. I love it. Real high tech stuff. Oh, there's another stray kitty coming. Okay, we're the we're the stray kitty house. 
Um, so what started all this sagging was water and moisture coming down the side of the house. Right here, see it's two story on this side. Oh, I gotta back up so you guys can see it. Um, so water and moisture was coming down for, you know, 50 plus years. This house is over 100 years old. And uh, it just wasn't, it was settling up against the house, so it was making the house sag. There's part of the original foundation again. Let me get up here so you guys can get an idea of kind of what the house looks like. So this part was an add-on. Let me back up here. This part was an add-on. This was a porch. That's our dining room now. This part's a kitchen. This is where the hole's at. So the whole kitchen and part of the living room settled. Um, we think this might have been part of an outdoor kitchen, kind of, at one time. See this roof line up here? We think that that was originally where the roof ended. You could tell underneath that's where the wall ended. So this was kind of an add-on at one time, or an outdoor type kitchen. There is, when you look inside, when you work in, so we've done some work inside, on the ceiling inside, and there's a window in there. And then right here is an old window that has, since they moved the house, because see how they've got the beam there? This, see how there's cracks there? I don't know if you can see it in the video. That used to be a window. Here's how our windows are shaped. Okay, get it? Can you see it now? See how there was a, there was a window right there. And that's where my kitchen cabinet, and, uh, there's a walkway and a kitchen cabinet upper and lower right there so on the other side and that's the second story that's our our loft bedroom okay the, like I said the cats are having the best time um, here's the oh here's some more beams and stuff uh, like I said they're gonna bring in a steel beam they're gonna put in a new water line because they found a, the water line was underneath the gas line and that was a surprise uh, when they did the locate because it was under the gas line, they didn't know it was there. So they had, they did have to shut off the gas and pull all the gas lines. Now they're going to bring us a new water line, which is fine. Oh, I should have showed you guys the water line. Here, let's go see the water line. Um, which we knew it, it was coming because we have replaced every other pipe and the sewer lines in our house. But we hadn't done the main water line going out to the street. This is it right here. This is part of it right here. That's part of a sewer line. Um, oh, here's the pipe. He threw it over here. I'm not going to pick it up. But can you guys see that? That's the original water line. See how rusty and see how thin and nasty that is? <laughs> That's the original water line. This is part of a uh, sewer line right here, I think. But anyway, so there you go. We'll go around front There's here. There's a really good shot of the foundation when it's all really pretty. See how pretty that is around the fireplace? This is the fireplace. And there's, it's original Carthage stone. Um, it's a, there was a stone quarry here, marble, marble quarry. So that's original stone. Here's the big piece of machinery. Um, and then we had a sidewalk that went around here and my holly bushes were on each side of the fireplace and that all had to get torn out. And the sidewalk will come back. It's all that original stone. It's the original. That's the original sidewalk. They're big slabs of stone. And uh, I'm hoping they'll go back in okay and not break too much. This one broke. This was the curved piece that went around the corner of the house. That's the original sidewalk. So when they put it back, it'll look like that. But I think this is the last major thing that needs to be done. This is our neighbor's house. And um, that house is about 30 years younger than our house. We think this house was probably one of the originals on the block. Okay, so I thought I'd show you from the inside of the house what that um, cellar looks like. All right, so here's, this is our laundry room. And here is the cellar door. It's a trap door. Let's see if I can open this with one hand. Okay, here we go. So this is the creepy stairs going down under here and you got a duck. So you saw the other side of this that was open, but this is, okay, so see here's some more, this is add-on, this is concrete, here's original foundation, um, here's, here's more exciting stuff, pipe work, that's the main, um, 
That's the sewer line. We've replaced that one. That's new. Part of the original wall. And then you come down under here and you have to duck. I'm short, but you have to duck. Um, all original beams. Look at all that. Uh, new pipe work. This is part of the sump pump. We have a wet, wet basement. That's the sump pump. And then there's underneath the main part of the house, the front part of the house where the living room's at. That's all the original flooring. There's the beams holding up that side. And that's part of that beam they're going to replace with a steel beam because that beam is sagging. He did not like the looks of that. I'm grateful that's coming in. And then there's the big garden giant opening. So yeah, that's how you normally get down in here. There's part of the original wall. Check that out. We had to tear that out to do the sewer line. So that part of the little inside wall has been torn down before. We had to get that done a few years ago. And then there's part of the original wall. Isn't that cool? Cool beans. So um, this was a coal chute at one time because this house was heated by coal and they would drive up back here. This was outside. It's now our laundry room. And they would drive up back here with the coal truck in the alley. That's why we have alleys. I'll show you the alley. Um, and they would dump the coal. And that's how they heated the house. So there's the alley. There's the alley. So, yeah, there you go. Buy an old house, it'll be cool, they said. <laughs> I think they was me. I love my house. I really do. So there you go.